Wooden beams and steel plates are securely bolted together to form the composite member shown. With the maximum allowable stress information, what is the largest permissible bending moment when the member is bent about a horizontal axis? This is the first example for the transformed sections and composite materials in bending main video. The link to that video and other examples are in the description below. If we transform the steel plates into wood, we would have an elastic moduli ratio of 14.5, which means that the width of the steel plates is now 14.5 times 5. The neutral axis would be right at the center since the cross section is symmetric. This means that for the bending stress, the maximum Y value is 5 inches for the wood and 5.5 inches for the steel. With the parallel axis theorem, we can find the overall second moment of area. The distance from the neutral axis to the centroid of the blue figure is zero, and the distance from the neutral axis to the centroids of the green rectangles is 5.25. With the second moment of area and the area for the rectangles, we find the value for I for both stresses. Solving for the moment with the maximum allowable stress in the wood, we see that the maximum moment for the wood nut to fail is 999 kip inches. The right-hand side of the second inequality is telling us the stress at the top or the bottom when the material is still wood, not steel. Therefore, we still need to multiply it by n to find the expression for the stress in the steel. With n on the right-hand side, we can now solve for m to find the maximum moment for the steel not to fail. Since we want neither of them to fail, the maximum bending moment is the lowest of the two. For more examples on transformed sections, including concrete slabs reinforced with steel rods, as well as the other videos of the Mechanics of Materials course, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.